guys welcome back to my channel um, today we're gonna do a lip swatching video and it is going to be um, the juicy tubes original and exclusive colors um, by Lancome um, before I get started with this video I just want to mention a few things one I have a boo-boo <laughs> I you don't want to know what happened to me last weekend, which is why I didn't film a video because I was in extreme pain all week. Um, but I hurt myself pretty badly and I'm better this week. However, I cannot show you my nail. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, I don't know when it's going to go back to normal and completely heal, but for a week, I think it's doing really great. Um, also, I want to say and point something out that I think people are going to notice, and that is my arm. I don't know if you can tell, but it is really gross and just kind of spotty. I self-tan, so this isn't the result of someone who doesn't know how to self-tan. This is a result of someone who couldn't properly exfoliate her past tan, her prior tan, and tanned on top of that. So. Exfoliating is very important and doing it properly is really important and uh, if you don't do it properly you end up with uneven skin. So that's why my arm is like that. This arm is way better than this one, not that it doesn't have a little splotchiness but this one seems to be <laughs> a little off. So I just wanted to point that out and I really wanted to do a full video dedicated to these because I believe they deserve a spotlight in their own video because they are so special. These are throwback products, Juicy Tubes. Most of us probably owned one when we were teenagers for kids. This is the packaging. They sent it over in a little CD case. And on one side, you have the originals, and the other side, you have the limited edition ones with a bonus strap. So, my, my neighbors are here. I currently have nothing on my lips, and they look really pale right now. I don't like it. On this side, you have all the originals, and then on this side, you have the limited edition plus bonus strap colors. And so why don't we swatch first the originals, since they are the originals, the first hits, and we're gonna go through them. Okay. Spring Fling is the first one. And this looks like it's gonna have little to no color to it. I realize I have no mirror here. And that's not okay on my lips. As you can see, the color is very, very light. It's mostly just shine. There is no sparkle to it. And it just makes your lips look juicy for sure. But it would probably be really nice also to apply on over a lipstick that you want to be glossy or even a lip um, liquid lipstick, um, but I would say that if you have pretty hued lips, then this is a great product to apply on top of your already pigmented lips. Tickled Pink is the very next lip color, and as you can see, it's a bit of a darker pink color, and we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy on. This was my very first Juicy Tube, and only. It was the only one that I wanted when I was 16. My mom got it for me, and it was a special thing, you know? Actually, my mom would take my sister and I sometimes to Sephora, and we would go pick out one thing. We could just choose one, one product, and uh, I always found that really fun. I never knew what Sephora was until that time. So the pigmentation is pretty light. 
faint, but it gives you just a subtle hint of pink. Again, this one is a completely matte finish, as in there is no sparkle, no glitter, no shimmer, nothing in it. It is just a very solid color. Magic Spell is our next contender. And as you can see, for those that don't know, it's a very easy to use packaging, very old school packaging, I would say, when it comes to glosses. Now, this is a color that I haven't swatched. So this gives you really sheer berry color. But as you can see, the color of it is a very faint, it's a very, very light tint. However, it does bring vitality to the lips, hydration, and plumpness to the lips. Miracle is next. She's a beauty, isn't she? This has gold um, shimmer in it as well. Very fine shimmer. Some of these have chunkier glitters and some are very fine. And this, you're mostly going to get the shimmer. Um, very little to no color. But there's a very fine gold, not gold, I'm sorry, silver shimmer to it. Dreamsicle. Dreamsicle is that beautiful, poppy, light pink color. This has absolutely no shimmer to it or glare but it is going to give you a really almost um baby pink effect to the lips things are great for days that you do not want to draw too much attention to your lips but you want them to look nice and hydrated and um these are great for layering on top of other lip colors. Can you hear the cicadas in the background? They are alive and well tonight. Marshmallow Electro. Marshmallow Electro looks very similar to Dreamsicle. <laughs> but Marshmallow Electro has some shimmer in it, very fine shimmer to it. And this probably will leave less of a tint to the lips. Yep. It has not changed the color of my lips. It basically has just added gloss with a bit of a gold shimmer to it. Femboy's Pop is the very next color. Now this, you can already see that there are chunks very sparse chunks of a gold green I see a bit of a blue or purple and orange glitters in it so let's see if this one gives off any pigmentation as you can see this is a natural lip color that I have on I feel like it looks paler than usual because I have a self tan on um, but maybe I'm wrong <laughs> maybe I'm just delusional The color again is very subtle. It's mostly a very sheer, sheer tint with the glitters in it. Hallucination. I feel like we're about to get a little frosty here. This looks like it has a frost and a bit of shimmer, golden shimmer. Oh, how pretty. That just glides onto the lips so easily. Moving on to Simmer. This looks more like a rose gold. As you can see, that color right there. Oh, holy moly, I love it. I love it. I'm living for it right now. That is beautiful. It has a very pink 
sheen to it, but a very light rosy base with a pink sheen. The next shade is just the regular pure Lancome Juicy Tube. It has absolutely no color, no shimmer, no glitter. Just so you can see the shine of this gloss. It has a little bit of a fragrance to it. It's not overly glossy or it looks like your lips are going to drip off your face. Um, and it's not that chicken grease gloss that you would receive if you bought a product from the dollar store. But it's a very, I was going to say a very sweet gloss, a very sweet shine, a very subtle shine. One that is not overwhelming but not underwhelming as well. It's just very nice and smooth, the formula. That is it for the originals. Now we're going to move on to the limited editions with a few fun colors here. These seem to have a little bit more um, pigmentation to them than the original ones. So these will be fun to swatch. Um, so why don't we start off with the brightest color. This one is Grape Arcade. And it's a purple. There is very tiny, tiny shimmers in this one. And again, okay, you see the color there. But as you apply and just smooth it out, you're gonna see that the color isn't as pigmented. But it is the most pigmented gloss that I feel like I've applied on my lips. It has a bit of a pinky undertone to it too. Magic Lychee. And this one is going to be a lot more sheer, I can tell. But it does have some shimmers in it. Are those green? I don't know. We should find out. So there is a color just dotted on my lips. You definitely get a lot more of the shimmer than the actual color. Again, Raspberry Cool is next. And again, this is a, looks like a very light sheer color. Um, there is very prominent gold shimmers in this gloss. Alright, let's move on to Game Berry. Now this has no shimmer at all to it. It looks like a popsicle stained kind of lip gloss. And I'm excited for it. It kind of looks a little neon in the packaging. And so there we have the color of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over. Oh, this is really pretty. I love it. All right, um, Hello Cherry. Again, just like the previous color, there is no glimmer. <laughs> there is no glimmer or anything to this. It's a very, again, this has sort of a popsicle stain, but in gloss form. Oh, hello, cherry. I like it. Hmm. Orange flashback. Just like the last two. These are all kind of like the more bright neon colors with no shimmer or glitter. And here we have that. This one. Not much pigmentation at all. I expected a little bit more, but mm, I mean, this might as well be the clear gloss because there is nothing there, honey. Okay, moving on. We are in Melon Rewind. This is pretty. Again, this has no shimmer or glimmer to it. Nothing. That's fine. So you can see that color there. Well, let's spread it out.
this is a very as i've said a hundred times subtle color <laughs> big hit now if i remember from last time in my previous video with this one i actually really like this one so let's see how it looks this has a very uh, subtle plum color to it caramel gospel or caramel gospel however you say it i think i have a piece of makeup wipe stuck on my lips so this has a golden sh um, shimmer to it My favorites definitely just because it's super neutral but it makes your lips pop for sure all right now the next one is birthday confetti birthday confetti is literally just glitter that's all it is it's a bunch of multicolored glitter and I will swatch it because why not um, I don't want a ton of glitter on my lips, but oh, this is this formula is actually way more oily than the other ones for some reason. It doesn't have the semi-sticky. Yeah, this almost feels like a lip treatment on the lips. Ooh, I like it. I mean, there's no color, let's be real, but I like the feel of it. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering what mirror I'm using, I'm using the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Strawberry. Strobe Berry. Look at how adorable that is. I don't know if this is still out or not. I got it like last year, but... It's just the cutest packaging, which Too Faced is known for that, so. so cute, but I like to use this mirror to swatch things on camera for the most part because it's just really cute to look at. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was informative for you and gave you a clear uh, image as to what each color swatches like on the lips again my lips are very they have a slight pink tint to them so if your lips have a different tint to them um, or more pigmented than mine then you're going to be able to see more of the pigmentation of your own lips um, it'll just swatch differently on all different kind of skin tones and lip colors so do keep that in mind let me know if you guys have any video requests or any other products that you would like for me to swatch and i will be more than happy to if i can make it happen of course i love you guys i hope you have a great day or night whenever it is that you watch this video and i will see you soon bye